up, y'all? I was just stopping at the gas station to get me some gas. And they pull him over. There's one sitting in the parking lot over here. That's why I come to this gas station. And then he pulls this guy over right here in the parking lot. So we'll see. What's going on, man? What did he stop you for? The fog line, he said? Did he say fog line? The white the white line? Yeah. We got stopped for pulling over the fog line. We got 349 and 329 sitting in the parking lot over there. I was just making sure he didn't mess with y'all because he already said you're going over that white line. I was worried about him trying to pull y'all out on a DWI because that was his next step. He saw he saw me. He saw me walk up. They know who I am. Oh, you know who I am too? All right. Yeah. All right. No problem, man. Y'all try to have a better night, dude. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, you know, passengers don't ever have to ID. You know that, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, you have no, he pulled him over. So in, in reality, passengers don't ever have to ID. The only way they can get your ID, even if you're walking down the street, is if you have committed, about to commit, or have broken the law. If you have, oh uh, yeah, well, he he saw me and that was, uh, he saw me because I parked right over here and he just happened to, you know, that's what I do here in Louisiana. I'm the biggest auditor here. And he just happened to see me walk over. Like I said, he was fisting a mess with you. Like I said, I'm, I love to be able to rescue people like that, dude. So. Hey, man, y'all have a better night, all right? Like I said, passengers don't ever have to ID. They're stopping the driver. He's the one that caused the infraction, not committing a crime. It's a, it's a uh, you know, so just always know that passengers don't ever have to ID. Yeah. All right, y'all have a great night. See what they do. I'll turn it back on if I have to. On to the next people.